Just very quick background on Singapore, in case some of you uh, may not be familiar with. We are a very, very small city-state, um, size of which is uh, 712 kilometers squared, and that's just about twice the size of the city of Seattle. Seattle, I understand, is about 370 square kilometers, so the size of the city of Seattle is just about half the size of Singapore, so you can imagine how small Singapore is. And we pack five, just over five million people on this small island. And fairly young nation, about 46 years old. We just celebrated our 46th uh, Independence Day. Um, what's, what's truly unique about Singapore is the features that we have on the island, densely populated, Lots of high-rise building. High-rise firefighting is an everyday affair for us. Um, a lot of petrochemical plants. I'll, I'll come to one incident uh, that we dealt with quite recently. Um, underground facilities, we have rock cavens storing ammunition. We have um, subways that are five stories deep. Um, we have a host of other industries, you know, from chemical plant to, to uh, biochemical industries and so on. So these are all that we have to face with in Singapore. And what's fortunate about Singapore is that unlike some of what you folks have described this morning where really you have to juggle between the expectation of the politicians, the city council members, you have to deal with the labor unions, I think hearing all that this morning makes me feel at ease actually or very fortunate because we really, really do not have that much of a problem there in Singapore because, first of all, there are no, there are no unions as far as the SCDF is concerned because all of us are uniformed personnel, so they don't belong to any union. So it's easier to deal with them as employees of, of an organization. Um, <clears throat> we, also get, we also have very supportive uh, political leaders and it also helps for the fact that the Minister of uh, Home Affairs is the Deputy Prime Minister, so a lot of our projects get moving and he recognises the need for the civil defence and we really never have an issue with the budget, um, but more so because of the prudency and the uh, good track record that the leaders of the SCDF has set through the years, um, hence the trust that has developed with the, the uh, politicians. Well, this is the role that we play. We are the national authority for firefighting, rescue, and emergency services provider in Singapore. Uh, that's one of the uh, fire engines that we use. Uh, we call it the Red Rhino. <laughs> well, just to put into per perspective uh, where the SCDF sits as far as the Ministry of Home Affairs is concerned, we are just one of the nine departments within the ministry. So it is not unusual for officers to move from department to department just to gain that home team experience and the home team scope of perspective. So like for me, I've, I went to the ministry headquarters for three years doing security matters. We have officers that have gone to the internal security department, the police department, and we have also received officers coming across just to make sure that we have the holistic one government uh, approach to dealing with crisis.